Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this interesting uh, compound shape uh, that consists of a bunch of uh, rectangles along with this uh, square as you can see in this uh, diagram. And moreover, the area for this uh, rectangle is 32 centimeter square. The area for this uh, rectangle is uh, 96 uh, centimeter square and the area for this uh, rectangle is uh, 32 centimeter square whereas the area for this uh, square is uh, 16 centimeter square and furthermore the side length uh, for this uh, rectangle is 8 centimeter whereas uh, these uh, line segments are 4 and uh, 6 centimeter and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded rectangle please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step let's focus uh, on this uh, square and now let's recall the area of a square formula area equal to s square where s represents the side length and in our case the area is 16 so therefore 16 could be written as 4 square so that means the side length for this square are going to be 4 4 4 across the board and now let's recall the area of a rectangular formula area equals to length times width and now let's focus on this uh, shaded rectangle and we know the area for this rectangle is uh, 32 and we know its width is 4 so therefore its length has got to be 8 because 8 times 4 is going to give us uh, 32 and now since we are dealing with this rectangle so that means this side length is going to be equal to this side length if this side length is 8 then this side length has got to be 8 as well and now let's focus on this uh, shaded rectangle whose uh, area is uh, 96 and its uh, width is uh, 8 so therefore its uh, length uh, has got to be 12 because 12 times 8 is going to give us uh, 96 and now once again since we are dealing with this rectangle so that means this side length has got to be equal to this side length if this side length is 12 then this side length has got to be 12 as well and now we can see that this whole side length is 12 and this side length is 6 so therefore this side length is going to be a 12 minus 6 is going to give us 6 and now we know that this side length of this rectangle is 8 units and this side length is 6 so therefore this tiny length is going to be 8 minus 6 is going to give us 2 units and now we can see that this length is 4 units and this length is 2 so therefore this whole length is going to be 2 plus 4 is going to give us 6 so therefore this side length of this yellow rectangle turns out to be 6 centimeter and now let's focus on this whole length as 12 and this line segment is 4 so therefore this uh, side length uh, of this rectangle is going to be 12 minus 4 is going to give us uh, 8 and now let's focus on this uh, shaded rectangle and we know it's uh, one of the side lengths is uh, 8 and its area is uh, 32 so therefore this side length of this rectangle is going to be 4 centimeter since 4 times 8 is going to give us 32 and now let's focus on this uh, shaded rectangle once again and we know that this uh, side length has got to be equal to this uh, side length and if uh, this uh, side length uh, is uh, 8 then uh, this side length uh, has got to be 8 as well so therefore this whole combined uh, length uh, has got to be 4 plus 8 is going to give us 12 
So thus the length of this yellow shaded rectangle is 12 centimeter. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this yellow shaded rectangle where our length is 12 and width is 6. So therefore the area of this yellow rectangle is going to be, we are going to use this formula. So this is going to be 12 times 6 and that turns out to be 72 centimeter square. So that's the area of this uh, yellow rectangle turns out to be 72 centimeter square. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.